So I'm just walking from my campfire out to the little rocky point here. Where you can see I've head up, set up my poncho as a Yukon chair, kind of right up against these rocks here. This is the reason I do what I do. You know, this is my this is my office today, sitting right here on this ledge, overlooking this beautiful country all over the place here. Looking down a hundred, hundred and fifty feet down on that forest down below there. You know, these are just the tops of the trees up here. Pretty doggone nice. I love it. Well, as you can probably uh, tell here, uh, one of our ponchos can be made into a poncho. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, <clears throat> this Perry Peacock was Wilderness Innovation. And I'm up, uh, I, was gonna, I was trying to do a little bit of video earlier, but we just had a lightning storm come through here and I'm right on, I'm right on top of the mountain here. And uh, so I thought I better probably lay low for a little till the lightning and everything kind of moved on and rained a little bit, not too much. But anyway, our ponchos obviously make into ponchos that work great for, you know, taking care of you in the rain. But there are other uses for it. You might be aware, you know, you can make a, you can make a Yukon chair, a hammock chair, a hammock swinging chair. You can make a lean-to. You can make a, all kind of different tarp setups. So, and you don't have to get the bright orange if you don't want to. Sometimes, it's, sometimes you might want to keep one of these like in your vehicle or somewhere in case if you do get stranded, it's kind of your emergency, uh, not your everyday wear poncho and it might be your emergency poncho and you might want this bright color to stand out. So we do have them. This, uh, some of them even have reflectives on them. This has reflectives on the hood and that sort of thing to even add a little bit of extra in the nighttime. But there are some other things you can do with the poncho and uh, you know we showed you a ton of things that we do with the poncho. I mean I showed you last spring we did showed you a teepee I think I showed you a couple different teepee ways we could do it. And uh, hammock, of course, a bunch of different things there, Yukon chair. So today I wanted to show you a couple of tarp setups. So let's just check this out and see what the heck we can come up with. I've done some tarp setup tips. I think I've done, I don't know, I think I've done up to about 28 different ways to set up our tarps. But this is actually set up using our, our PSS, our uh, poncho survival shelter. So this is a rain poncho that we can turn into a hammock, which you've probably seen a bunch of videos on that, or you can turn it into heart, uh, a tarp. And there's, uh, I don't know, seven to ten or so different ways that you can set this thing up as a tarp. Now the poncho does come with 12 uh, sturdy uh, nylon, uh, nylon webbing tie-outs all the way around. So you're not relying on any kind of grommets or anything like that. Very sturdy. The, uh, the tie-out material itself is rated over 400 pounds. So it's, it's, strong, it's stronger. It's as strong as anything else in here. So anyway, so it's a very nice little setup. I've actually set this up as an A-frame um, running lengthwise this way. So, so basically this is the front of my poncho right here. The back of my poncho is on that side. And this is the width of it. So we're, we're about approximately five feet wide. And we're, this is a long version. So we've got eight feet to work with this way. I've staked it out with some uh, tent stakes, which I'll show you. All right, so in here I've stuffed my, uh, my survival blankets in here. And I've got it folded down into thirds. So I've got you know more on the bottom underneath me than on top. So I've got two layers under, one over. And then I've used my little uh, survival pillow here as my for my pillow. Now, obviously, this thing being about five feet, a little under five feet front to back, you know, of course, that means you're not going to stretch fully out if it's rainy. <clears throat> but, uh, but I normally sleep on my side anyway, so I probably would just sleep on my side and curl up a little bit. And I can fit in here just fine, no problem. Now another thing right now, I'm pitched straight on the ground here. 
um, which I often do with my blanket. This area right here is an old forest, and um, and this the, the soil is just thick, just really deep, and it's really porous. And uh, so I mean, anything that hits here doesn't it tends to sink right in. So I'm not that worried about moisture or anything like that here. But anyway, so there it is. Something I could show you here. The hood right here. The hood right here has a snap, so you can snap the front edge down. You can see that right there. See that snap right there. So that snaps the front edge down. You can pull the drawstring tight, and that virtually seals everything off here. And I just flipped it over. I just flipped it over the front here. So any moisture or whatever runs off that side, or it runs over the uh, over the back of the hood and down. I put a small stone in the bottom of here as well. Just, uh, it's not really needed, but it's one of those things I kind of like. Uh, if it gets really whipping and windy and everything, it just weighs that down a little bit and just kind of, just kind of keeps it from flopping around very much. And then what I've done here is what I do oftentimes with what I've showed you on the tarps. I'm using a toggle. I've tensioned a piece of parachute cord that comes with the poncho between two trees. I've used a, a pulley style uh, not on, on the other on this uh, other end over here so I could get a lot of tension on it and I take a small stick and it goes and it basically just goes uh, Goes over this cord and we just pull up a little bit here on this tab when you do it makes a really tight fit And then you just pull out like that and you can see I've got a good bit of tension out here You can see it even a uh, wrinkle in so now here's the west side the, the back side here you can see it would be very simple for me just to uh, put up a bunch of, stand up a bunch of boughs along this back, these back corners right here and, uh, and, and keep the uh, weather out of there pretty well. But it makes a nice little emergency bivy. Alright, so I'm, uh, I'm here right now at a shelter I made using, this is uh, Atax AU which as of this, filming this video, as of this video, we have none in stock. <laughs> so don't try to order right now, but you can check back. But anyway, so I can wear as a poncho. I can also set up as a tarp shelter. All right, so in the last setup, you recall, I set it up uh, over the ridge line going long ways this way. So I had a long A-frame or a wide A-frame and I had my width running this way, which worked really nice because I mentioned I commonly like to sleep on my side. I mean, I always have. So being slightly curled up on my side, that, that's, that, worked, that worked very well for me using it that way. But now if you want to lay straight out, then of course you're going to have to pitch it lengthwise. So I'm using PSSL here, the long version. So I'm eight feet long and just under five feet wide. So now that makes me a nice, that makes me a nice, decent one-person shelter. Now, <clears throat> now because I could possibly, I'm in an area here where at times we can get a very heavy rain. So I've pitched me up a bow bed. So that gets me up off the ground. So even it can it can rain all at once and wash under me underneath me. That's fine, and I'm and I'm good to go. Okay, so here's the back side of it, and you can see. It makes kind of actually almost a diamond shape here, the way it the way it kind of sets up. But I'm pulled out good on this side. So this is the direction of my storm, so I'm set up pretty well there. I've got my hood snapped down and the and the drawstring on the hood drawn up tight, so that we try to eliminate moisture coming in through the head hole. Um, I always try to I I always try to tell people to make a point of whenever using this thing as a as a tarp, the punch of the tarp, the head hole part, always make sure that you never have it where it sags down. So always make sure it's supported. I can also, I've done this many times, tie a, tie a cord right through here between where it snaps and where it sews in and pull up on it like that so to make sure that stays high. But the way that's set up right there will be just fine. So, so there you go, there's a nice little setup. Uh, lengthwise, 
using the poncho, the same same one I've got on, just a different different color. And uh, that, as you can see, that makes a very nice shelter.